Okay, I'm just gonna wait for everyone to come on now. Let's see who the first person is going to be. Ooh, little Harky got first figures. I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. Little Harky beat everyone. Hello, everyone. Now, I understand. I was kind of nervous about doing this live stream at first because I was afraid. I don't know. I didn't really feel like doing it at, right now because it's the middle of the day and I get that people are out, especially on winter break. I was going to do it at like 11 in the morning, but I decided to obviously scrap that because it's probably way too early. So I decided to wait a little bit. This is like around the time. Well, for me personally, in my time zone, you know, it's probably like after everyone's had lunch by now or something like that. So I figured I'd do the live stream now. I'll show you where the convoys are. I'll show you real quick. There you go. You satisfied? Okay. I'm sorry, Patty's Will of Cars. On my screen, it shows that little Harky was first, but you were second, so that's definitely an accomplishment as well. And hello, PCP. We're going to be unboxing all these cars, and I might even go over the Poster Art of Cars book, because there is some stuff in there that you guys probably have never even seen. It has super cool images and all that stuff. And even, I even have the XRS racers right there, but we're not going to unbox them in this video. Just going to show them, just, you know, the show. Well, PCP, this one actually was pretty hard to acquire. I got it for Christmas, obviously, but I think I got it internationally. I don't remember what country it was. I think it was Australia or Germany or something like that. I had to get it from an international place, but it is really cool. And it is a little bit rare, sort of, but I did find it on eBay. I don't remember how many there were on eBay, but I do know for sure the cheapest one was from an international country. Like I said, it was like either Germany or Australia, something along those lines. Is anyone going to make a Cars Rewind and I'm in it? Well, hopefully next year. Like I said, I know a lot of people were complaining that they were in the Rewind. Just, you guys have to understand that we can't put everyone in the Rewind. And plus, this was planned last minute. The 2019 Rewind will obviously plan it in advance. In like a month, probably like a month in advance. And it'll definitely be a lot more longer. And I rest assure you that not all the big Cars YouTubers would be in it. But that was just our first one. And it was a little unprofessional but like i said we only have like three days to plan it there will probably be a lot more people shown in the next rewind and it's going to be more professional uh, coming obviously very very late this year i don't even have a two-pack to unbox here little harky so i can't do that challenge 2019 car i'm hyped for I gotta say, either Cam Spinner or Leroy Hemming, I get that, th I know that they're already out, but those are probably my two favorites so far due to the fact that they have been long-awaited and most anticipated Car Street diecast ever since the movie even came out. And this is all the stuff I have to unbox i do plan to do a convoy buzz in their own individual video and i just want to let you guys know these i did not get for christmas i just found them actually and i it was super weird like, i found them last night going through some stuff and clearing stuff out and i forgot i had these and i don't even know how they got to where they did but i don't even know i had these three right here but now i do and now i have to put them in a place in my collection so it looks like i don't have to wait for the 2018 tj to come out and this jamie here obviously you can see right here is loose because in my Christmas haul video he was already sort of out of the box. We do have Jamie right there as well, but I already unboxed her in the actual Christmas haul video. And no, I'm probably not gonna unbox the Convoy Brothers. That one might take a while to come out due to the fact that I don't know exactly how I'm gonna review it. I would love to review it, but the thing, like the thing is, I love to take them out, but obviously they're super expensive, and I don't really want to risk it because my main fear with that is that I open it. And I can't put them back in the box or I like take something out that I wasn't supposed to and I can't put it back as like as like I never took it out. So that video is definitely going to be a complicated work in po progress, but I'll work with it. Well, I call them bros because their names are just Convoy Brother K, Convoy Brother I, Convoy Brother 
G and Convoy Brother N. So essentially, Convoy, just call them the Convoy Brothers, is actually quicker and slower. And it actually, it sounds smoother as well. So Lil Harky wants me to unbox the circus cars or try to unbox them without using my thumbs. Oh, Meter's hat doesn't come off, by the way. I'm not going to try, but as you guys see, it doesn't come off at all. And don't try as well, because it's going to yank off and all that stuff. And yeah, the Trunk Fresh Pity right there, I'm going to unbox as well. But the first one's due to Lil Harky's little bet. I'm going to unbox these two first. Not going to do them both at once, obviously, but I'm going to see if I can unbox these cards without a thumb. Is that going to be like a trend this year? We're all just going to try to unbox the packages without our thumbs. <laughs> Someone, someone should make like a full compilation of that or something. But anyway, here we go. Oh god. How am I supposed to do this? First car. I can't open them. I never notice how hard it is to open cars packages without your thumb. That's, that's actually torture. Yeah, I can't even get it. I can't use- oh my god, this is actually so hard. Okay, little Harky, guess what? You said I can't use my thumb, but you didn't say I, I couldn't use my other hand as well to open the package, so. Ha! Bet, little Harky. Bet, I just got it open without using my thumbs. Okay, it doesn't want to come out. Come on, get it. Well, I just opened one car without using my thumb, so take that. And I'll use the same with that one as well. Now, I think he's actually pretty expensive nowadays. There was one point where I didn't even see him on eBay, so. And obviously, as you guys see, the other rear view mirror, they don't, it's unattachable. Where'd it go? Oh, it's all the way down there. It comes, you have to, like, attach it on the car because he'd be too wide in the blister, so one of the ears have to come out, and it seems as if it goes this way. And once you put it in, I'm pretty sure you can't take it back out. This thing doesn't even look completely in, and I don't want to, like, force it in there, but... Alright, there we go, I got it. That thing is not coming out ever again. So here we have the Circus Van. Honestly, probably one of my least favorite ones, but it was the first Super Chase for 2015 to be released. And now, same challenge, but with this guy. I need to read the comments. No, he said... Lil Harky said that I, that I can't open the package. He didn't take. He didn't include the part of taking it out the blister. So technically, it wasn't cheating. Which year would you say was the best for diecast leases? Probably 2010. But if you want to say like after the event of Cars One and Two, definitely like either 2015 or 16. I almost think those years were as good as the good old days. You know, those are just my personal opinion. Yeah, pit stop, boss. Alright, let's try to do this without my thumbs. I was just about to do it without my thumbs, but I forgot the whole challenge. Here we go. I got it. Oh, I got it. Mm-hmm, I got it. There we go, I got it. Now I just gotta take him out the blister without... Okay. Please come out. I know some cars can come out like that, but for some reason now it wants to be super stuck in there. It's just... Oh my god. Oh, I got it without my thumbs. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna throw all this trash to the side. And here we go. Here we have... Circus GT and Circus Forklift. Unbox with one hand. Oh my god. Oh god, oh my god. Don't worry, prize will cards. You'll get to 100 subs one day. Just believe in yourself. Fun fact, it took me 10 months to get my 100 subs, so... 18 watching, that's the average right there. Okay, I'm not um I'm not unboxing with my feet, that's where I draw the line. 
I'm sorry, that's that is where I draw the line. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, here we have Circus d and Circus Forklift. I do refer these two over the Circus Van. And he has this little, like, fluff ball that the Ferrari fan and 95 fan Luigi and Guido had. And it is removable. It's kind of funny seeing a forklift without forks. I mean, he's not even a forklift. Just call him Lift. Yeah, here is the Lift car. Because he doesn't have forks. You can't call him a forklift. But yeah, he does have the little hat right there. It's really nice. But like I said, it's so strange seeing a forklift without forks. Or a pity without forks, you know? So here we have all the circus cars. I finally completed the whole collection of them, but the other circus cars are in another room of mine, so I can't go get them, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. DD's face reveal was in his Christmas haul video. I saw. I mean, it's on one of the reflections on one of the silver cars. I think it was um, the Ferrari, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, the tuba video... The I just said tuba fitty. The tuba pity <laughs> also doesn't have the forks. Oh my god. I already said I draw the line at feet. And I especially draw the line at toenails. <laughs> it's getting crazy. How about, okay, and this is a challenge for PCP and um, Little Harky. Both of you guys have to make one video where you try to unbox the one car without using your thumbs. I did it, so you have to. I don't have Guido, PCP. With me, at least. I have him, of course, but I don't have him here, so I can't make him dab on them haters, but that sounds cringy. Yeah, Happy New Year, Cars, Keen, and Productions. I hope you have an amazing New Year. I hope 2019 will be my best year yet, and I and I have a lot of confidence that it will, because every year I see to grow bigger than I usually do, and that's always amazing. I think my goal... I, mean, I might post my goals on Instagram soon. I really do have to, but I don't have the time to. But one of the goals I must say I have personally is maybe like 20 or 25K. I think I might be able to hit it if I work hard. And plus, I have other projects. I have my entire collection video coming out this year once I get everything settled. I got this new shelf. I already posted it on Instagram. And I have another shelf that I'm going to be moving and adding cards to new shelves and stuff and other effects. So once all that comes out, then I can make my collection video. And then it will actually look completely different than the 2016 one back when I only had 100, sub, 100 subs. Yeah, storyteller cars are usually rare. The only ones that really aren't are Sponsorless and Smell Swell McQueen. Although Sponsorless is probably the less rare storyteller car that was new. Obviously, all the storyteller cars that were re-releases weren't new. No, I don't live in Canada. I live in the United States. No, I'm not Full Drive 7, but I wish I was because he has almost every single car in... In the whole collection. It is better than DD's. Um, what? Um, yeah, but he does have all the cars in the collection. And <laughs> I wish I had, I was him so I can have all those cars. But yeah, I did meet up with him over the summer, though. But yeah, I'm not Photo Drive 7. Just let you guys all know. And no, I don't, um, collect Tomica as well. I only collect Mattel cars and mini racers here and there. So anyway, here we go with Retro Ramon as the next car. It always kills me to open up cars that actually have some value to it. Like, honestly, it kind of kills me almost, but I have to do it. Right there, you can see, collect them all. Smell so McQueen, Sponsorless McQueen, Wedding Day Ramon, Brand New Mater, Doc Cuts and Flow, Dusty Rusties, Rusty Rusties, Red, and Tractor. For some reason, I was going to say Sarge. Right there, you can see what book it did appear in, Showstopper. I'll read the little description to you guys. Flo was a glitzy and glamorous motorama showgirl traveling from state to state before she met Ramon and parked in Radiator Springs. And these little things, the, all they were connected was like this little like, um, I guess you can say like, I don't know, exactly know what they're called, but they're like sticky things where they stick together like that. And that's basically how they open. Radiator Springs, 1930. And on the back, they just tell you some other books. I already went over like the packages and stuff in my video. But anyway, let's get into the boxing. And my... No thumbs unboxing is over. I don't have to do anymore. I already did it. And I was the first YouTuber to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I definitely am going to collab with a bunch of the big cars YouTubers for 2019, most likely. 
Hopefully, I also will be able to go back to New York because I'd love to meet up with Little Harky and Foil Drive Seven again. That would be amazing. Maybe even the cars are in the cars, please. I feel like that'd be really cool if we all did. It would. It would be like a five people like meet up. And that'd be really really neat. I love all the Ramon paint jobs, and this one is, like, absolutely no exception. Get out of here, trash. You're trash anyway. Well, you guys can see, we have the Retro Ramon. And now, like I said, I really love all of the paint jobs for Retro Ramon, or for the Ramones in general. And this one, I gotta say, is really standing out to me already. I can definitely see in this one be one of my favorite Ramon paint jobs ever. I just love all the yellow to it right there and my camera is really don't want to focus right now but i just love all the little like yellow outlines around him and that metallic like ransburg red almost it's like a stunning finish on him oh yeah it's velcro thanks pcp i i do i couldn't think of what it was called but thanks he just reminded me for some reason i couldn't figure out what it was called No, I, I don't collect Disney Store cars unless they're, like, cars that Mattel themselves haven't released yet, like the Tinko and Moose Springs tractors from last year. No, I don't live in New York. Unfortunately, Aaron's not here for the stream. He's still in Times Square from the Cars YouTube Rewind, if you guys remember. He's waiting for the tire to drop. I don't exactly know what you mean by 20 inches Lightning McQueen. No, I actually wanted to do this video for like before New Year's, but unfortunately I couldn't get it out. And by the way, guys. I don't think I'm going to unbo unbox the mini racers in the background. They're probably just for show. I might do my own separate video on them. But one that I will be unboxing is this one. Only because this one doesn't correlate with the others due to the fact that it was released before all the rest and all the other mini racers show at the same time. So I might do one separate video on all of them. But I am going to unbox this one. Derby Racer Series. It's so long since I got I collected mini racers. So it's been, so it just feels good to finally be unboxing a new mini racer. And by the way, little Harky, I stopped collecting mini racers, but I want, I'm probably just gonna, I'm probably gonna get back into it. I have like a bunch to kept, um, catch up on, but I'm not gonna like unbox all of them. I'm probably gonna keep them on the package for a while due to the fact that I don't have any shelves for them. But once I get shelves for them, I'll certainly take them all out of their boxes. But this one, I don't mind doing that. Same with those as well. Anyway, let's get into this unboxing. Okay, Mr. Drippy's gonna fall out right away. That's splendid. And then here we have McQueen and Cruz. That felt fun. I like I said, I haven't unboxed a mini racer in so long. It actually feels kind of good to unbox one. And I accidentally threw McQueen over with the trash. But right here, as you guys can see, we have Chester Whipple filter and Francis Beltline and Mr. Drippy now. I gotta admit, I think Cruz Ramirez is probably my favorite out of this bunch, but they all look really neat. Yeah, I'm super happy I got back into mini races collecting. Yeah, you're right, little Harky. Mirrors are so good. <laughs> They're really good. They're better than Thailand, for sure. They are way better than Thailand cars. I mean, the only launches that aren't bad, in my opinion, obviously are the ones that came with new cars, but the launches are definitely, like, sought after now. I even have a Brick Yardley launcher, but I might customize it to a Brick Yardley launcher or something. I mean, the launches from back in the day, though, those are, like, those are, like, golden. Like, though, I'm not gonna say, I'm not saying, like, they were the best things in that world. But they are definitely memories. The one with the pit stops, and most of them had like the sign that Mater with sign has, and even had, and like it was just so cool. It was, those were the days, man. The days. Uh, sometimes I wish I can go back to them because those launches back in the day were amazing. They even had like light your tire launches, and they shoot out the launcher. Those were just amazing days. 
But anyway, it's gonna move some stuff right here. Alright. Okay, I see where you're coming from, little Harky. I don't know if you're talking about the lines under their eye eyelids or the ones around their windshield, but number one, some China cars have that. And number two, I get that it's in the movie, but they look awful with them. Like, it's no point of putting the black line under the eyelash. It just makes them look bad. Like, Cars Stream McQueen looks like a girl. I'm gonna be honest. Looks like Cruz Ramirez got plastic surgery and made herself into a boy. Oh, I, did I say Brick Yardley Launcher? I, I meant to say Bobby Swift. If I said Brick Yardley Launcher, my bad. But I was, might change, do it to a Bobby Swift Launcher. I don't know. I feel like a Bobby Swift like tool card and tires would also be kind of cool. Inconceivable. Monorail. Yeah, Harky, but let's be honest. I would ra I, you would rather want clear decals. Like, some China cars themselves have blurry decals and you can barely see what they say. Okay, fine. Car 2, Thailand McQueen. If you, if you like that one, PCP, then I got one that I'm sure we'll both agree on. Lee Revkins. Yeah, I like the days from 2010 as well. Don't we all wish we could time travel and get old diecast? Like, I feel like any card collector would want to do that. Little Harky, those are wrong statistics. I don't know who told you Thailand equals China. That should be saying China over Thailand. The Lee Revkins looks like a McDonald's toy. See, you guys, little Harky can't even hear. I said China over Thailand. He heard it backwards. But anyway, we're gonna box this one. I didn't get this one for Christmas, but I'm opening this up for the Rusty's 95 collector card. I also do plan to get all the collector cards. I wanna, like, Hopefully get all of them one day. I got one from my good friend Follow Drive 7. He gave me a 95 Cruise one. It was like a spare he had. But anyway, we're going to unbox this one. And this is China, by the way. And of course, it has tape. I'm going to have to open it from the bottom. I forgot how gorgeous the Rusty's Vision Center McQueen looked when I first took him out of the first 11 pack on May 1st. Oh my god, what is that? What is that little reflective thing on the R right there? Oh my god. What even is that? Did someone like drip something on it in the factory or something? It's still a cool collector card nonetheless. And here is the little pin that it goes on. Nice. So yeah, that's that. I have some of the McDonald's toys from Cars, although I don't remember where I put them, but they're somewhere in my house. I'm just, like, putting some trash off the way so I'll get to some other stuff. We might as well show Jamie next since I already have... Or no, Johnny next because I already have Jamie. So let's get into that. Again, hurts me to open the final lock card, but I don't have them already, so why not? I'm gonna be honest, I prefer Jamie more than Johnny. I just like the blue color, and I like his model itself more than... 
Johnny's personally. And they're both really nice. Now, if you guys don't know, I guess you can almost count these guys as hooligans because of the Los Angeles race. They're seen in the background, but they're like they're like on the very top of the speedway, and they're looking down at all the people like on the ground entering the speedway, and they're like spitting off the edge, hoping it would hit some car in the roof. So, yeah, they're kind of technically hooligans. Francesco or Chick Hicks or Jackson Storm? Chick Hicks, because he, um, cheat and crashed everybody. Doesn't matter about the speed. <laughs> Alright, next one. Fabrizio. The only cars to car that I have today. You can't get re-released, guys, by the way. Do not ever, 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 ever count on a re-release of this guy. He will forever be in this series, and the only time in this series, that's it. Chase, chase, chase. All right? I think I made myself clear. But here is Fabrizio, a car that looks like a Hot Wheel, and I have no complaint about that, because he looks really cool. You can't even see his eyes, but... Hopefully with some, like, reflection or something, you can kind of see his eyes in there. It's almost like a ginormous sunglass or something, or like a sunroof or whatever, you know? He was actually originally going to be one of the World Grand Prix races, but they scrapped the idea. But I'm glad they still decided to release him. He was in the movie, but just as a background character with no speaking lines. Trust me, PCP, there's been a lot more worse chases than this one. Trust me. Yeah, let's call him the Cars 2 next gen. Alright. You'll see Johnny. Here's Johnny, alright? Little Harky wants to see Johnny, so... There you go. The Convoy Brothers don't suck. You know what would be kind of cool if, like, at the end of Cars 3, they have, like, the Convoy Brothers again, but they send it, like, rooting for Cruz, and they're all, like, yellow in the front, and each one has one of the letters, so we have Convoy Brother C, Convoy Brother R, Convoy Brother U, and Convoy Brother Z. I mean, that I think that'd be kind of funny. Chow Francesco is not a chase, so Harky's a super chase. There's a difference between the two. Yeah, but I, like I said, guys, I have a bunch of stuff planned for 2019. Like I said, I have my collection video to do. I have some other stuff as well, more than just reviews. I might even do some mini movies here and there, more stop motions, possibly. Obviously, more collabs. So, yeah, hopefully this will be a very fun year. No PCP, okay? It's not the only difference. Super chases are limited to no more than 4,000 units produced. Okay, I got it back. My thing always stops for some reason. Like, every single live stream, I swear. Like, every single live stream. At least once, it stops. And that's it. So, that's fun. That's very pleasant. Now... We'll just get on to the last car. I guess I have to unbox the trunk fresh pretty. I saved him for last because he's part of the piston club, you know? What happened is that for the millionth time, my live stream, society, my YouTube decided to stop, so I have to, like, get it back up. Hashtag PCP is making up lies and started after DB, so if anything, he copies my ideas. I'm just kidding, man. Oh, yeah, I don't understand these at all. They always had a character on the back of the Racerama cars, and it says, meet my friend and with one car. I'll, let me tell you, these two are not friends. If anything, they're enemies because there's... They're for a different team. They are for different sponsors. He is a racer. He is a crew chief for RPM. He's not the crew chief for Rusty's. So if anything, this... They are enemies. <laughs> they are not friends. If anything, they are enemies. I 
I'm not sure what PCP is going to do, if he's going to make more mini-movies. I know about the Race Like a Fireball sequel, but I think, I I mean, I'm not saying I'm, I'm going to do one like that, but I want to do more, like, mini-movies and stuff like that. Maybe, like, a mud racing one, but, like, with the mud racers, possibly, but if PCP is going to do that, I'll obviously let him do it. But if he doesn't and he's fine with it, then I might make my mud racing one. Yeah, meet my friend Damage King. And there was another one I think I said meet my friend Greta. Even though McQueen and Greta both like are in completely different like time periods. And Greta could possibly be dead before McQueen was even made, so... I would have laughed if they put that on the back of the card. Meet my enemy, Chief RPM. Chief RPM is the brains behind the RPM race team. His racer sucks, and I am way better than him, and I can beat him in any race ever. ever. And I hope that he messes and makes a huge mistake one day. He is my enemy, and he will never win a race. He should retire already. Oh, spoilers for Cars 3. Alright, <laughs> I'm done with that. Trunk Fresh Pity, you're going out the box. You know, I think I honestly would have preferred if the Moose Rings and N2O Cola Pity got released over this one, but whatever. Alright, even back then the pack just seemed to be even back then get taken out hard. I'm not getting a marker and putting that on the back. I don't even have a marker on me right now. I probably would if I had one, but... These things even came with posters back then. Yeah, let's just, guys, let's just take a moment of silence for the stupidity back then. This is the most stupid and unrealistic thing I've ever seen. Right there. Let's just take a moment of silence for that. Alright, moment of silence over. No, none of the packages on the back said meet my friend Chick Hicks. And if it did, Mattel is like stupid to their brain. Alright, let's take a look at the pity that we're totally paying attention to and not the card back. Oh god, he has like a rubber band around him. Just my luck. Okay, he has a rubber band around him. Might take a while to get him out. I'm a tire too, oh my god. Okay, the pity might take a while to come out, but at least I can take the tires in the toolbox out. But hold on, I'm gonna get this pity out. Okay, this string is permanently stuck into the trunk fresh pity, apparently. Can't get it out. Okay, there we go. I got it out. Good riddance. You got the trunk fresh pity. So good to see a pity without chips, because a bunch of my pities from back in the day have, like, chips and, like, the edges of their cap and, like, the little, like, tool pocket things in the back. But I finally have a replacement trunk fresh pity. And I must say, it feels good opening all these cars at once. I think there was another card back that also said, Me, my friend, race official Tom. I think that was another one. Oh my god, I thought that was Megan Shifter for a second. I thought, I seriously thought that was Megan Shifter for a second. I was going like, what? I actually thought that looked like Megan Shifter for a gl for like a quick second.
All right, I have a million of these posters, so. Meet my friend, Wingo. Wingo is a great friend of mine. He, he put my holler to sleep, and I went out the back, and I could have been killed by a couple of cars, but I have to be the luckiest race car in the entire world. Wingo is my friend. He almost killed me to death, even though he didn't know he was. But thankfully, he actually changed my life to a better form. I think it's time I bring up the XRS racers. Now, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not going to unbox them, but I want to show them at least. They're all in the very special Walmart box here. i got to push the camera back a little bit, but... As you guys see, they're all in the Walmart box right there. The exact Walmart box that I picked it up from Walmart.com. So I'm just gonna, I guess, dump them all out. Oh, there we go. So let's get started on all of them. I'm not gonna show them too much because I'm gonna make a, my own video of all of them. But here is the first one and the heaviest one Miss Fritter. I love, how this is, I love how the suspension works on them. I haven't seen this try me feature on a blister like this in a long, long time. Maybe even the first time they ever did it, but not entirely sure. But Miss Fritter is definitely the heaviest one when it comes to being in the package. Here we have Cruz the Ramirez, the one that ruined Cars 3 at the end. But she still looks very awesome as an XRS racer, I must say. Meet my friend, Jackson Storm. Well, me and my friend Tex Dynaco would actually make sense, so. Here we have RV. Mater. You gotta have Mater in the series, right? I'm kind of surprised they didn't do Mater for the Thomasville racers. Like, I feel like it'd be cool if Mater was dressed up as the Fabulous Hudson Hornet, don't you think? Like, I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Jackson Storm, the rival of McQueen in Cars 3. I think there's three more. Lightning McQueen, the one who's been a main character for one out of the three Cars movies. Barry the Pedal. Now, my opinion, I don't understand why they released Barry the Pedal in this series. Like, I almost feel like Barry the Pedal was like a random choice i almost feel like they randomized all the next gens and got buried a pedal because i don't know i feel like it's weird he's released in this series because he was only released in a four pack before this so i feel like this is honestly kind of random to do but i'm i'm kind of not like necessarily complaining and finally cal weathers the third ever cal weathers variation that we have gotten i really hope one day we get a deluxe of the one that has the inflated tires from the beginning of car Three when mcqueen and Bobby were pranking him and and maybe they can have like a un a attached accessory in the car that has a bunch of the McQueen balloons. I feel like that would be really cool. And I would definitely pick that up. Although it'd probably be Thailand, but who cares, right? Like at least it got released in some form. Oh yeah, I saw in PCP's video that Cal Weathers said said Hank Weathers on the side. Oh my god, um, go okay, so as you guys see, PCP's video, it said Hank Weathers on the side. Mine also says Hank Weathers, I'm not sure if you can kind of see it, but mine also says Hank Weathers. I think Hank Weathers might actually be on all of the Cal Weathers for the XRS racers. I just want to point that out to everybody, that I think that Hank Weathers is actually on all the Cal Weathers. If you could drive one of the cars for the day, which car would you choose? Are you talking about like the cars that are like right here or something? Well, after this live stream is over, little Harky, can you send me some pictures of it? I mean, it's kind of interesting that I got the Hink one though. But I mean, if there's another version that says Cal, that's pretty interesting. No PCP has Hank Weathers. Like, on the side. I saw on PCP's video, it said Hank Weathers. Mine did, too. Oh, 
How about this one, guys? Meet my friend Sterling. Hello, Cameron Evans. How's the Sarge's fault for Cars 2? <laughs> Alright, I think there's only one thing I have to do for this live stream right now. And I just hit my back on the chair behind me. But I'm gonna like push these cars back a little bit. <laughs> to make room for this book. Now this book is of course gonna be very interesting. Because, obviously, like I said, it does show stuff of cars that you may have never seen before. You guys may have never seen before. I'm going to flip to a random page. Like this page right here. Some of these, honestly, are pretty stupid, almost, and I wonder how they even got made, but a lot of them are really cool. Look at this. Forklifts. Help us deliver victory. Your skills are needed. Join the cars today. <laughs> Don't leave it up to the car next to you. Do your part. Cars Allegiance approved. Imagine if Mattel put on the name tag of the Cal Weathers, Hank Weathers as well. So like all of a sudden now he's called Hank Weathers again. Because he was originally supposed to be Hank. I feel like one of the reasons why they decided not to name him Hank is because it might get him confused with the Hank the Septopus from Finding Dory. Because that movie came out a year before Cars 3, so it might have been a little bit confusing. That's might be why they changed his name to Cal. And personally, I like his name being Cal better. I feel like it suits him more. Don't ask me what Lizzie and Sally are doing in Japan, or Flo and Ramon are doing in India, or Fillmore and Star is doing in Switzerland, or Sheriff and Red doing in London. Obviously, Luigi and Weed are going to be in Italy. Yeah, uh, me and Tia, DJ Snapchat, Wingo, Boost, Fred, and Minnie, uh, Minnie and Van, all those characters would have been perfect for Cars 3. And I'm really disappointed they weren't in Cars 3. <laughs> Alright guys, I have a question for you. Who do you prefer more, PCP or Little Harky? If you prefer PCP, put hashtag PCP. Uh, if you prefer Little Harky, just put hashtag Little Harky. <laughs> so two people have already said PCP. Oh my god, look at this. We have the both of the arts right here for Cars 3. That's so cool. I didn't even know these were in the book. Wow, that's awesome. We got some Cars 2 images right there. I don't understand how like the World Grand Prix races appear here. But they appear again in the background right there. This makes no sense. Look, there you guys go. There's Fabrizio right there, right behind Francesco. And the actual racetrack. Tomator and stuff. Cars Land images. These are like some early like designs, like concept arts of what the entrance was going to be. I think the final decision was the billboard, but I'm not entirely sure because I've never been to Cars Land personally.
I have no do idea what Jeep date is supposed to mean, but okay. These actually appeared in the Stanley short, like, cartoon. Now, this is obviously an Incredimobile, but with eyes. And this was the original... If you guys don't know, in Cars 1, there originally was going to be, like, an end credit scene where they have Fenwick Missile and other... It was supposed to be a spy movie that was shown at the end of Cars 1 at the drive-in theater. And I think McQueen and Sally were going to watch it as, like, one of their dates. And these are, like, concept arts for it. Fenwick Missile was going to be in it. And here was some, like... Movie titles they had for it, Red Means Go. And there's some other ones as well. Four Strokes and Down. Double Parked and Dangerous. I think those were the three main ones, ideas that they had to name the movie. Italy right there, Luigi and Guido. I don't understand how the cars are able to pose perfectly, like, the same time. Every single time. Oh, great. Disney Doc had posted a video. Now everyone's gonna leave my live stream. Because they prefer Disney Doc over me. Now everyone's gonna go watch his video now. Because my live stream is not as good as the video apparently. Some old Thomasville ones as well. Yeah, but I hope you guys are looking forward to my collection video though. Okay, here's what I want you guys to do. And once this video is done, in the comments down below, for the people who didn't watch, like, in the comment section down below, like, put hashtag, push tag, like, oh my god, I can't speak. In the comments down below, when the video is done, in the comments, put hashtag no thumbs unboxing. So we can get it trending. <laughs> and then every single person has to do it. I'm the first one to do it. And I challenge PCP and Little Harky to do that as well. I challenge them both to do it, so yeah. And comment on their videos as well, hashtag no thumb unboxing. You need to get that trend going. <laughs> I might live stream here though. I do have a bunch, like I said, I have a bunch of plans for 2018. My collection video, maybe like a mud racing short, similar to PCP's Fireball Beach video short, though that one's definitely going to be a work in progress right there. My birthday is coming up very soon, so I will have a birthday haul coming out, maybe another live stream based on what I get for my birthday. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. This is all the stuff right here that I didn't really feel like was worthy of reviewing, but I got a, a bunch of reviews coming out on 2018 cars, such as, you know... Bobby Rotesta, I have Chris Roman, Sue Deep, Megan Shifter, Blinker, Combustor, and Bumper Save Haulers from Cars 3. A whole bunch of stuff is waiting to come. I might even do, like, theory videos on Cars-related stuff and a bunch of other stuff as well. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for the live stream. I'm almost done this for an hour now. Hope you guys enjoyed my first ever 2019 live stream. Believe me, guys, I do think 2019 will be my year. I hope it will. You just got to be confident and believe in yourself. And all of you guys could become as big as maybe PCP or Little Harky or even myself one day. Like Collection TV or Aaron's Little Cars. You guys can do it. Just believe in yourself. But anyway, that's it. DB43 signing out. And see you later. Peace.